Have you ever had to deal with exceptionally rude people? Did you know that rude people can come into your life at any time? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty aware of that actually right about now. Did you know that rude people are everywhere? LibX05 asked, how do you George. deal with rude people? AKA George. He didn't ignore me. Rude! I'm joined by my friend Julie here, who's going to help me assess how to deal with rude people. I would help you if you would let me talk. LibX05 says, one time he was going to an elevator, and the person kept pressing the down button, hoping that the doors would close so that he wouldn't be able to get on. These kind of people are exceptionally rude, and they don't let you do the thing that you want to do. So how do you effectively deal with these people? If I was being uh, talked to by a rude person, I would probably punch them in the face if they were being extremely rude like that. If they were ignoring the things I had to say, if they were standing in front of me, which I can't because I'm sitting on a shelf, I can't even move. Assault is probably not a good idea with dealing with rude people. A rude person would assault someone who they believe is being rude. When you're dealing with a rude person, one of the most effective ways is to block them out. <laughs> or push them aside. One of the second best ways to deal with a rude person is to directly confront them. Good madam, you are rude. <laughs> Another way that you can deal with a rude person <laughs> oh my God. is you totally cut them off. Actually, that's not a nice thing to do. When you're dealing with a rude person, dealing rude things back to them generally is not a nice thing to it do. Usually creates so if rudeness. this rude person is being rude to me and interrupting me when I'm trying to speak, then the best option would not be to be rude back to her. It'd be the best thing you could possibly ever do to a rude person is to kill them with kindness. <laughs> so... I know that you really want to talk right now, and I'm just, I'm really sorry that I keep interrupting you, and I just, I really would like to hear what you have to say, because I know that your opinion is so important that you just have to keep cutting me off, and I'm, and I'm sorry that I am talking when you want to talk, and I understand why you want to talk, and I, I really want to hear your opinion on this. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. I really appreciate you and your, your consideration for my feelings, for the things that I have to say. Nobody has ever said that to me before. That's why I am always so rude, because everyone ignores me. Rude people are just that. They're very rude. They're not considerate of who you are. They're not considerate of what you're trying to do. And furthermore, they just don't care. So the best way to deal with a rude person, in all seriousness, is to just accept the fact that they're being rude and try to not feed into it. Because as soon as you feed into their ploy, then you've given them power over you and over everybody else. And what you want to do is you want to take away that power from them. You are a jerk, and I don't like you. Grr. The most negative response to this would be, You're a jerk too! The fight would escalate beyond something that is controllable. A positive response to this would be, Pow! I punch you in the face because you're mean to me and you're a jerk, and I don't like you. Pow. Good sir. I punch you with words. Hello, 911 operator. I've been assaulted. If it escalates to the point that someone's trying to fight you, don't fight back because you're going to get in much more trouble than they will. Or if they hit you, they're going down for battery. So let's say it's the same situation where she's pressing the button on the elevator to close the doors and I'm in a hurry. Excuse me, could, could you please hold the elevator? Please, can someone, no! can someone hold the elevator? Oh, thank Never. you very much. Thank you very much. And this person <laughs> back here just held the elevator open for me because this person here didn't. But then you don't acknowledge this person and look at them. That just increases the tension in the room. Just casually ignore it and let the person figure out themselves that they were rude. If you use I statements, it validates your experience and it makes them see your point of view. If you always are saying, well, you're being rude and you did this and you did that, you're just pointing the fingers at the other person. You're not actually saying anything. The best response would be, well, you know what? I was trying to get into the elevator and I just I felt really hurt because... I really wanted, I needed to get there on time, and I just, I wasn't able to do that. You might not confront the person who was pressing the button on the elevator so that it would close so you couldn't get on. You may not necessarily have the chance to do that. But the best way you could respond to that, if the doors are already shut on you and the person's gone, breathe in, breathe out, let it go. Because they're going to realize in time how much of a jerk they are when they have no friends and their mothers call them up and say, you're a jerk, and hang up on them. That is the end for this video, <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> it is a lot of awesomeness. We are awesome. It's true.